King Magnus the Good was the king of Norway and Denmark, till his death. He was an illegitimate son of King Olaf Haraldsson and concubine Arfhild. Magnus was born prematurely, and he was weak and unable to breath for the first few minutes. Olaf was not present at his birth, and Sigvard the Skald became his godfather. He was named after Olaf's greatest role model Charlemagne. Magnus went on to grow strong and healthy against the odds. Olaf was dethroned by the Danish king Canute the Great, and Magnus and his mother went into exile along with his father. They traveled over the mountains, and eventually landing in Kievan Rus, where they sought the assistance from Prince Yaroslav the Wise. However, Yaroslav did not want to become directly involved in the Scandinavian struggle, and declined to help. After some time, Olaf learned that Earl Haken Eriksson, Canute's regent, had disappeared at sea. He gathered his men to return to Norway. Magnus's uncle Harald Hardrada arrived to Kievan Rus, to report the news of his father's death at the Battle of Stiklestad. In Norway, Canute appointed his wife Elfgifu and his son Svian as regents of Norway crown. But Norwegian's people found their rule oppressive. After the death of Canute, Magnus' father allies went to Kievan Rus, to bring back Magnus to rule as king of Norway. Magnus was proclaimed king of Norway at 11 years old. Initially, Magnus sought revenge against his father's enemies, but on Sigvata's advice he stopped doing so. In Denmark, Harthignut another son of Canute was on the throne, and wanted to reunite with Norway, but Magnus initiated a campaign against Denmark. The noblemen of both countries brought the two kings together and made peace, and agreed that the first of them to die would be succeeded by the other. Harthignut died in England, and Magnus became king of Denmark. As part of consolidating his control, Magnus destroyed the Jomsborg, headquarters of the Jomsvikings. On the other side, Canute's nephew Swain claimed the throne of Denmark, and returned with an invasion, which Magnus decisively defeated at the Battle of Lyaskov Heath. Magnus wanted to reunite the Canute the Great's entire North Sea Empire, by also becoming the King of England. When Harthignut died, the English nobles chosen Edward the Confessor as their king, son of Athelred the Unready. Magnus wrote to Edward, that he intended to attack England with the large combined Norwegian and Danish forces, but the English were mostly hostile to Magnus. Meanwhile, Magnus' uncle Harald Hardrada had returned to Norway allied himself with Swain, and contested his rule in Norway. While Swain was still a threat in Denmark, so to appease Harald, Magnus made him the co-king of Norway. Swain increased the pressure on Magnus from his base, but in 1046 Magnus had driven Swain out of Denmark. Unfortunately in 1047, Magnus died suddenly in Denmark. On his deathbed, Magnus made Swain as his heir in Denmark, and Harald Hardrada in Norway. He was buried with his father in the cathedral at Naderos. The line of Olaf II ended with Magnus' death. However in 1280, Eric II of Norway was descended through his mother from Magnus' legitimate sister Wulfhild, who was crowned King of Norway.